Yes, that theme tune. You know you're in for a night's entertainment when you hear that, don't you? So this year's Eurovision Song Contest is only a month away. Blue are singing our entry. This time it's in Dusseldorf, but never mind Dusseldorf. We can bring it closer to home. Right here in Oxfordshire, in fact. Why Ermany? Douze point. It's a song for Europe, blueberry style. It's true. Uh, and to, to tell me more, I have Alex and I have Chris and I have Steve. Uh, Chris and Steve. Hello, Chris. Hi. Uh, how are you? I'm fine, thank you very much. Good, lovely to see you here. Hello, Steve. Morning, hello. Morning. Tell us all about this, Chris. What on earth is happening Eurovision-wise in Blueberry? Well, we've been waiting for far too long for a British winner of Eurovision. <laughs> and we decided that, uh, well, Blue are very good and uh, all the people we've had in the past, but we've got such a wealth of talent in Blueberry that we thought we'd try and get a, an entry to actually win it for for England. <laughs> so, you know, we've got one or two other countries in there as well, but the British entry, we're, we're rooting for them. Oh, yeah. So you're going to have a totally Eurovision, Eurovision song contest in Blueberry? Absolutely. There are mm. 12, 12 countries, 12 songs, 12 tables per night in, in the audience, each, or, each uh, table voting for one of the countries. And you get 10 votes, same as Eurovision, and the winner at the end of the, at, at the, end of the evening takes the prize away. What a fantastic idea. Who's dreamt up the songs? Well, it's, it's old people from the village where there's some surrounding area. Yeah. There, there are a lot of people involved in music, like Alex is here now, he plays yeah. for Kidlington Concert Brass, and uh, also a couple of composers uh, who live in the village. So there's some real serious <laughs> entries coming in. I mean, yeah. this, is, this is not a cheap <laughs> No, no, but there, are, know, but there are people who know nothing about music at all, and they're having a go as well. Oh, are they? <laughs> like us. This is <laughs> a fantastic <laughs> idea, though, really. And so, uh, the songs are uh, sort of from each different country, and you vote for the country. It's just all on Eurovision grounds, all on Eurovision rules. It's exactly the same rules as before. And, and we're expecting people to vote for the, the song that they think are the best. No, 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 no tactical voting at all. You know, unlike uh, in Europe, no political, no voting. political, no, 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 none of that at all. No, and it, on the evening itself, each table at the hall where, where we're producing this yes. uh, represents a country. So they're going. To, we're encouraging people to arrive in, in the dress of that country, yes. but they're not allowed to vote for their own country, as in the um, the other Eurovision contest. Yes. Uh, and they get the twelve points, ten points, eight, and then seven down to one to uh, you know to find an eventual winner of a, an original trophy, which has been done by a, a local sculptor. <laughs> Chris, have you done this before? Uh, I used to be uh, a weatherman for BBC Oxford, I believe Did it you was, really? wasn't it? You know, that you from London really? Weather Centre, oh, I was... You, uh, you, well, you were yeah. one of us, originally. Oh, I wasn't one of you, no, 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 no. no, no, no you no, couldn't no. have been. Been. But, but Blueberry's done it before. Have you but, tried but, the Eurovision uh, song? 1984 then? I did it before, and it was yeah. won then by a girl, which, which was 14 at the time, Mary Plazas, who's since oh, gone really? on to become a world-famous soprano. You know, performing for the year, no, all yeah. uh, places all over the world. So, Singing so who them. knows this year who's going to become our our next international star? Blueberry's song for Europe. You know, I do like this idea. It sounds like great fun as well. Above anything, oh, else. that's what it's all about. Have yeah. a good time. Yeah. But there's some rivalry in Blueberry, as you've mentioned. It's not all fun. There's people that are desperate to get their hands on the trophy that Chris just mentioned. <laughs> there are one or two. There's, there's some people who really, it really matters to them to win this competition, and some of us have gone in for it because we want to give people just a good evening and raise some money for charity. Is there a Katie Boyle? Is there a Terry Wogan? Is there a host of the Eurovision Song Contest Blueberry Yeah, star? there are three presenters. Oh, there are three presenters, so, you know, uh, we, we, we don't rely on just the one. There are three of us doing uh, the, 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 the bits in between introducing each song with some, with some fun and some film and some clips, so it should be good fun all the way through. Fantastic. And you mentioned the charity there, Chris. What charity? Uh, well, we're, we're raising it for Blueberry Players, which is a, a trust, and then, and then Blueberry Players uses money to yeah. support the arts, performing arts in and around Blueberry. Mm. We support the school and, and young people particularly. And when you're not doing the Eurovision Song Contest, what other shows do you put on the Blueberry Players? Well, this summer, uh, the uh, summer production out in the uh, Garden at Orchard Dean, which we put on every year, is uh, Peter Pan. Oh. We're doing a version which is specially written for Blueberry mm. Players of Peter Pan. I can see you as Hook. I saw an eye, but I didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> and Alex, I did mention Alex at the start. I did say Chris, Steve and Alex. Hello, Alex. Hi. Uh, what are you here to do? You're here to demonstrate some of the songs, or at least one or perhaps two of the songs, aren't you? I am. I've, I've got a clip from the, the Spain entry, a little excerpt oh, yeah. I can sing for you. Yes, yes, please. Do you want to stand up or are you OK sitting down? Uh, I think I'll make do on sitting down. I'm glad you said that. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen the trouble we had trying to fit three people into the studio. You wouldn't believe it, it beggars believe. This is the Spanish entry. It is, Can yes. you tell us a bit about the song before you do a little clip of it? Do you know anything about it? 
Uh, well, actually, Steve to my right wrote the lyrics. Did for you, it. Steve? Yeah. Yeah. What's it called, Steve? Go on, then int- introduce the Spanish entry. It's called Love Virtually. It's about it's about the emotional uh, sterility of modern life with all the media and so on that uh, mm. that we encounter. Okay, I can't wait. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Go on then, Alex. Give us a blast. A little... We used to speak to each other. Now we tweet. I've 600 friends on Facebook I don't meet I've dated on the internet But satisfaction I can't get It must be love, virtually We used to stroll to the movies hand in hand Now our computers transmit them by broadband I'm sat alone inside my room And in this audio-visual womb I'm entertained virtually Oh, I like that, Steve. <laughs> See? Hey, he's thought about that, Chris. Yeah, he's going right, for gold, isn't he? Uh, I think that's it's actually, very good. But... <laughs> Why are many dues poor? Over here. Yeah. I, think, I don't think it'll win, though, because Alex, <laughs> Alex, Alex is actually singing the one I wrote. Oh, so right, that's right, right. Right. Have you got the one he wrote? Let's be balanced about it. Oh, have you got no, the one no, he wrote? I have, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> just, it's just, actually... give us just a little bit of a, a, a glimpse of that one. OK, it's the Russian entry. You've got to imagine a bit of a punk band in the background. You've written the Russian entry? I have indeed. Yes, You've yes, written yes. a Spanish entry. Have, yes. Has anybody written a British entry? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah but a, a professional composer has written ah, the prison. Yeah, so, uh, let's, see. let's just hear a snatch of the Russian entry. One day when I was young, my father called me on the phone. He'd run away with Olga from the pub. Mm, he said that he was sorry, but he wasn't coming back. Especially now that Olga's in the club. Oh, yeah, well, you know, it's got something about it. It's quirky. It's quirky, isn't it? If anybody wants to go and see the Eurovision Song Contest, the Blueberry Song for Europe, what should they do? They're going to have to be very quick. That's oh. the first thing. Uh, it's on the, the 19th, 20th and 21st of May. Yeah. 20th and 21st, the tickets, all 120 for each night, sold out in the first ten minutes. Good day. Look at uh, this. And then there's about 50 left for the Thursday night. Uh, and if anybody w- would like to come along to it, uh, if they check our website on blueberryplayers.co.uk uh, or on Facebook or Twitter. Are we on Twitter? We are on Twitter. Oh, we're on Twitter, Twitter. as well. You're on Twitter as well? Yeah. Uh, so that's 50. blueberryplayers.co.uk. Wonderful stuff. 12 original songs performed by local talent, composed by local talent, written by local talent, produced by local talent. And the locals are desperate to get their hands on the trophy. Absolutely. It's a song for Europe Blueberry style. Great fun. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you. Wonderful stuff. And the real Eurovision Song Contest is in Dusseldorf next month. We'll be having a look at that closer to the time. Blue singing our entry. Do you want to know... Do you want to know something, I was going to say? I've not heard that song yet. Shouldn't I have heard that song by now? Has anybody heard that song? Is it any good? 